starting with this block. This is a wood stat dynamic block that I found and it's a nice one. I like to reuse this block, but uh, you can see that when I rotate this block, this wood stat block, you immediately see the problem. Do you see that? The stretch actions are not rotating with the block. And this will cause problems because look what happened when I stretch this block. It's skewing the entire block. So the way I'm going to fix this is going to the block editor. And the problem that we were having was with this rotate action that is right here rotate so in order to in order to inspect this i'm gonna double click or click on it and we can see that the objects that are highlighted means that it's been used or is being included on this rotate action so from my experience with dynamic blocks when we use the rotate action we also need to include the linear parameters, this one and this other one, and the grips also with the stretch action. So that way everything gets rotated and not only the block. So the way I'm going to try to or attempt to fix this is by right clicking on it on the rotate action and go to modify selection set, making sure on the command line the add option is selected i'm gonna go ahead and select my parameters my grips and this other parameter and grip also and press enter so now let's go ahead and test this block um, Let's go with the next dynamic block problem. And here we have a lighting block that we found. So it's a truffle light, but it's a lighting block that so far, if you take a look, you won't see any problem, right? The block looks fine. The base point is where it's supposed to be on the core on one of the corners of the lighting. We have a visibility stay right here and we have a flip action right here so let's see what happens when we start playing with these blocks i'm gonna hit this flip and now we have a problem so let's try to fix it now what i'm gonna do is go to the block editor and here we go we have many different lighting options here but let's focus on one problem at the time so let's try to fix the flip and the base point problem so let's use on the parameter tab on the authoring palette let's go and add a base point parameter so i'm going to select a base point parameter and i need to place it over here on this corner like so because i can reuse now that base point and somehow connected it with the flip action so before i do it i'm gonna go ahead and from my ribbon i'm gonna click this visibility mode so that way i only see the block that is actually there so i don't get confused so next i'm gonna click this this flip option right here right there flip and i'm gonna right click on it and say modify selection set why well because i want to add the base point right here so add the base point and press enter so when i test this block now let's see what happens i'm gonna test the flip option and click on it and great you can see now that my base point is also flipping with my block which is great now, let's see what happened now with the visibility state. Let's uh, test the visibility, right? Because you can see this block have different parameters and actions. So I'm going to go ahead and let's try to select a different lighting. 
and boom we have another problem guys so the same idea we fixed the base point for one of the lightings but now we are having the same issue where the base point doesn't align with the other blocks so we could start doing the same procedure going to that block and start adding another base point parameter and so on but that's a lot of work that's a lot of base points and we don't want to make this block more complex than it already is so let me show you then an easy way or the easiest solution so i'm going to erase this uh, this parameter i don't need it and the way i'm going to do it is i'm going to first start from scratch i'm going to discard discard the changes so we can start fresh over here so the way i'm going to do it is go to the block editor and over here let's go ahead and inspect this block right so if we see this block uh, let me draw a line so you can see better what, what i'm talking about so we have in one side of the block our base point which is right here and in the other side we have our flip action that it's flipping the block up now the issue with the base point comes because these two the base point and the flip action are on different sides so but what will happen if somehow we have the base point and the flip action on the same side of the block then we won't have any problems so let's see how we can do that so first i'm gonna go and turn my visibility mode on so i can see and select everything I'm going to go ahead and say control A to select all of my geometry. And I'm going to move my geometry with the regular move command. And I'm going to move it from this point to this other point, like so. So now our base point will match this flip action. So let's test it. That's our base point. And when we flip the block, that's our base point. That's awesome, right? Now, let's go ahead and test our visibility action for the other lighting options. We can see that we still have the problem with the base point. However, in this case, we can quickly fix that by moving our lighting, our other options lighting, to that specific corner. This way, we can go ahead and change the flip. We can go ahead and change the other options lighting. And you can see that our block base point will be always there. Awesome. The second problem of this block, it's obvious that we have two different flip actions for this block. And that's not right. Now, how do we know which one is the right one? Uh, if you're not sure, what we can do is go ahead and close this block and save the changes and we can check from our property palette right here it says flip state one that's the flip option so that's the flip option flip not flip um, so now we know the flip state one is the correct one so then knowing that we can go ahead and erase the other one so that's flip one that's the good one and this is the flip two that's the bad one so i'm simply going to erase it and now we have flip one right there and we don't need this other one the flip state two so i'm going to select it and erase it with the delete key so now we're good we fixed the second problem of this block so now let's see if we have another problem but in order to better understand this lighting block I'm going to bring this block into a reflective ceiling environment, okay? So we can better understand and see if this lighting have a different problem. So I'm going to close and save the changes. And what I'm going to do is, again, open a drawing, a ceiling or an RCP or reflective ceiling plan that I have. Oops, we have a proxy error here. So that's not good. Let me quickly fix this. 
with the command that we created, the lazy perch that we created before. So let's click on it and let's see what is this. Okay. So now we have a clean version that we can open it. And here we go. Proxy object problem solved. Anyway, so I was trying to go ahead and bring that lighting block on this ceiling environment. So I'm going to copy with control C, go back here, paste it with control V and place it right there. So the reason why I brought it here is to better understand this block, right? In a real world situation, right? Most of the time what I see with tutorials online or on YouTube or Facebook or whatever is that folks teach you something using lines, rectangles, circles in an empty environment and that in the real world, that's not going to happen. You're mostly going to work on real things, real buildings, real stuff. So that's why I wanted to bring this block over here on a real example on the RCP or reflective ceiling plan. Now, let's see if this block is, is now good to reuse. So I'm going to click that. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and change different lightings. And okay. So here we go. I just saw another problem. Do you see that? The problem with this block is that we don't need this flip action on this option. Look, this flip option is not doing anything here. It's just confusing the end user. It's just confusing you, right? Uh, let's go ahead and fix that block editor. And let's go ahead and change the options to the two by two. And that's what we're seeing the flip action. So to hide this, we can select the flip action and right click on it. We will have a object visibility so we can hide for current state like so, and then do the same procedure for the other light. So now when we go to the two by four, the flip is showing and we go to by two by two it's not showing there. Awesome. So we can save the changes and this block will be ready to go. This, if we go on the properties palette, this block, it's an emergency exit light. That's awesome. I like this block because it already comes with different options right here. That's awesome that I can reuse. I don't have to recreate my block. Now, what's the problem with this block? Let's see if you can figure it out. I'll give you a couple of seconds. The base point is the problem here. And to be more specific is that there is no base point. This block doesn't have a base point because look, if I click this, I cannot move my block. So there is no base point in this block. In order to move this, I had to use the move command and grab it from one of these points. But no, a base point is so important for a block. And we don't have it here. So let's go ahead and inspect this block. Let's go and open or go to the block editor. And here we have a visibility action right here or parameter. So the problem is that the location of, the, of this visibility parameter is exactly on top of the block base point, And that's not right. You should never do that. So in order to fix that, what I like to do is go to the visibility mode so I can see everything or all the geometry that I have. So that way I can better understand this block and place my visibility parameter accordingly. So by clicking this grip, I can move it anywhere. But I'm not going to move it here because that won't be a good position. I'm going to move it right here. And you can see that now base point, the base point will show about here. So let's go ahead and close this block editor and save the changes. If you are aiming to save time, here are 10 essential tips and tricks to try out. 